So I was um just thinking about if this is these type of things have happened to us, who else did they happen to at City Barbecue? So I want to know, my questions are, uh, I have a couple have you ever questions. Uh, so this is the question to some of you females or you may, may maybe be a male. Um, have, ha, have any of you ever been sexually assaulted by a manager or anybody at one of Sydney Barbecue's locations? And, uh, did you report the sexual assault? And, uh, if so, and you did report the, uh, sexual assault, what, what happened? Like, did anybody, did they try to cover it up like they did whenever I was, went to them about, um, everything that was going on at the Huntersville location? Um, or did they start targeting you? Did they start, um, trying to, uh, intimidate you into not talking about it? Um, um, have you ever been, uh, targeted at any of, uh, city barbecues locations for simply, this is unrelated to the sexual assaults for simply sticking up for yourself or asking, you know, for a raise or your just dues. This is only for the hard workers. Now don't come here just because and think I'm just hating on city barbecue and I want everybody to who doesn't like them to say something because if you're not a hard worker and you weren't working hard and you just you just feel like you were untreated fairly just because don't I I don't want to hear your story. I'm sorry. You know, as you might have felt you were you were you were, you were treated unfairly, but if you were not a hard worker and you didn't deserve what you were asking for, they didn't give it to you. That's a different story. This is to the people who uh, know their worth, know about this company as I do, how much of a lie it is, and uh, how, how how they try to cover up things, um, and their little how their little cronies try to uh, lie to people about you and try to lie to people about themselves and do their little fundraisers and like there's something they're not. Um, and they get mad if you want to stick up for yourself or you want to expose them and tell them about themselves because they can't handle the truth because they are a bunch of uh, raised with no manners, no morals, having individuals, put it like that. So uh, back to the subject. Have you ever been um, treated in any, uh, um, have you ever been fired unjustly just because a manager um, did not like you? And um Regardless of if people liked you, if because I know there was one girl, uh, and I definitely got her on speed dial. She was fired because the general manager didn't like her. And the general, uh, this is at the Huntersville location. Uh, the and I'm only telling you stories because I I know some of you guys have similar stories. I know some of you for legal reasons you can't uh talk about it, but I can talk all day until they try to take me to court or whatever they want to do. And then I'm when I'm not able to talk about it. But these recordings, my posts and everything will still be up. So they, they can't take those down just because they take me to court. They, they um I can stop talking about it or I have to stop talking about it of course once they uh man up and either uh reimburse us for our troubles and do what they're supposed to do as their job. Uh uh or as they advertise they do as a company and act in a way that their little policies say they do. Or take me to court, or whichever one comes first. Um, and they would have they would have to find a way to take me now. And if you know anything about this company, you know people are probably used to taking them to court. So now <laughs> they're uh, in a frenzy, uh, um, going around trying to figure out how they can take me to court now because uh, I didn't bow down to their lawyers' uh, legal threats against me. Two legal threats against me because they thought I was somebody I wasn't. It's like a boo boo. Um, so. Uh, back to the subject, if you are uh, any former employee who has been treated this way, please, uh, I, I want to know your story. I want you to, um, I know you'll eventually stumble upon this because um, I was, uh, I made a video. Uh, I always refer to my video that's pinned to the top of my uh, former employee of City Barbecue uh, page. And uh, a guy, um, I think he was a customer or something. I think he might have even been a model, but um, he <laughs> he heard the uh listen to the almost 40 minute video I have of me asking the district manager, general manager and assistant general manager to treat the staff fairly, leave my sister alone, be nice to, you know, uh treat us uh the right way and stop treating us like we're some kind of criminals because we asked to be treated fairly. Of course, they fired her after this and then tried to find a way to fire me. You know, they had to do that, even though I was documenting every single step. But um 
So they thought they were slick and getting away with something, especially that uh, general manager and assistant general manager. They kind of conned the district manager. Well, they didn't con him, but they kind of pulled him into it. So I feel sorry for him because he didn't know he was messing with either. But the people who really thought they were getting away with something was the general manager and the assistant general manager because they they are two of the uh, biggest scumbags and low lives that I and um people that I've ever met in my entire life. But uh, anyway, uh, this guy that I was just uh, talking about, he listened to my whole um, 39, almost 40 minute uh, meeting with these three scumbags, uh, these three low lowlifes. And he um, said, <laughs> this is somebody from, I don't even know what area he's from. He said the one area that I have, or the one, um, the one in the area I have, or I'm from, and he was talking about the city barbecue in the area he's from. He said employees were selling Viagra out of the store. So go, go to my page if you think I'm lying. There's a link to this. Go to my page if you think that I am lying, because I never lie. I have no reason to lie. If you think I'm lying, this guy said this. But uh, anyway, that's why uh, this video, him uh, making that comment just made me see that um, m my voice, my... Uh, Posts and my videos and stuff are reaching people. Well, I know they're reaching people now because I'm at the 3.1 million um, people reach and 3. Point million, uh views this week. I'm trying to get to a billion. Can't even count that uh, high. But <laughs> so I know eventually I'll get to one of one of you who have been treated this way by this family. I mean, uh, this company. Oh my God, I can't believe I said family. By this company, this wannabe family company. Um, I know you're going to come across this and I know they did you so wrong because I've seen your uh, reviews. Like I always re refer back to as well as your reviews, but uh, I want you to step up and tell your story. So this way, this is what this um, video is for. For you can either do it in the comment box or you can uh, message me on my page, which is uh, in the description of this whole YouTube channel. And I will uh, tell your story or you can just review my page and you can tell your story on my page. Um, because you your story needs to be heard too so people can know that they don't just treat this isn't just me and this is just this isn't just somebody being mean this is or somebody who's on a vendetta or something like that this is somebody who the correct thing is this is somebody who is sticking up for employees worldwide maybe not worldwide well yeah worldwide because i'm using my voice to help encourage people to stand up for themselves but as far as uh um this is me sticking up for as far as sticking up for people, this is me sticking up for employees for all all of these city barbecue locations and the most of them that I know who treat employees in a similar way because they're a bunch of punks, they're a bunch of bitches, and they think that uh, they can treat people any way they want and get away with it. So, uh, especially their little managers who think that they're uh, top shit and they can do whatever they want. Sorry for my cussing, but these are how these people make me uh, feel because I am so, I hate fake people. I cannot stand fake people. I I. I cannot stand them with a passion. I despise fake people with a passion. So, um, like I said, uh, if you have ever been sexually assaulted, if you have been targeted, if you have been mistreated, um, um, unfired just because one of our little punk ass managers uh, was mad and didn't like you or didn't like you sticking up for yourself or knew that you might have been wanting to be a manager and you were going to be better than them. Um, or you uh, were a better worker than them and they were trying to lie on you and uh, didn't want anybody to see you shine because that is uh, something that they definitely do at their Huntersville location. They like to keep people down and uh, try to make it seem like they know what they're doing when hardly, they hardly know their jobs and can't even, wouldn't even be able to handle a, a full day of prep shift on their own. And then their, uh, their um, authority figures who are over them are so, stu are so stupid. They don't even know how to watch the uh, videos to see it and to see if these people even know what the hell they're doing. They just uh, hire the biggest kiss asses that they can. And then these people get uh, promoted uh, as more asset they kiss. The more, I mean, there might be some decent managers, but as far as the ones that I've dealt with, they're all a bunch of jokes. Couldn't work a full day uh, to save their life, if you ask me. Staying on their feet because they're a bunch of kiss asses. And that's the only way that they can get by is kissing ass instead of working hard. But they, oh, but they expect you to work hard. They expect you to, oh, let's, uh, do that uh, city barbecue spirit and you put in that a uh, hundred million dollar um, hours and you slave like a dog and you do all of this stuff and don't worry about us not doing anything to help you. We're just going to, you need to do this and you need it. The, the rules on the platter now, y'all. And if you know this, I want your story known. I want you to uh, tell me the story, your story, whatever they did to you in the comment box, because uh, I know some, some of them, they treat you so wrong. It's not even funny. Uh, I'm going to keep this video at 10 minutes. Um, but in the comment box, go ahead and do that. Uh, 
tell your story or contact me the other way through my Facebook page because your story needs to be known. And I'm going to keep up with this and keep going with this because uh, they still feel like they are untouchable. Uh, like they're Elliot Ness or somebody and somebody needs to put these people in their place. And if not, then tell the world how they really treat people and how they really are versus uh, the lies that they advertise and how they really are. Peace out.